welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be taking a look at fsr4 in borderlands but this time i'll be using an rdna3 card and that would be my rx 7900 xdx now we all know amd has blocked access to fsr4 on the 7000 series and below but i think a month ago or something they did accidentally post the sdk fsr4 files to github and those were quickly gathered up before they removed them and um someone over at reddit by the name of athlete dependent 926 so shout out to you whoever you are has compiled a dll file to allow you to use fsr4 in borderlands 4 and maybe even other games i'm not too sure possibly cyberpunk as well you do also need optiscaler but that's a whole other story so first thing you want to do is make sure that you have FSR selected. So once you've done, you've chosen your upscaling method, you've chosen the quality level of that upscaling method, you press the insert button. Of course, you need Opt OptiScaler installed already. You'll get a menu that comes up. If this is a little bit too small for you guys, um, I'll try and zoom it in as much as I can um, post production, but you just select um the uh, uh the upscaling method you want so i'm going to choose fsr3 then you just click change upscaler and then what you'll find is you see you have fsr4 available now so what i'm going to do is put a, together a little comparison between fsr 3.1 and fsr4 um it's worth noting that fsr4 does come with a performance penalty because it's using i guess compute performance to to do the AI upscaling and um, that's going to come at a cost of about 7% I believe so you're not going to gain performance um, like you normally would with FSR 3.1 but the quality level is night and day so enjoy the video Oh! 